Nicely turned away through mid-wicket. That's uh, rolling away down the hill towards the mound stand. That'll be four. So a terrific start for South Africa. Nine for no wicket after one over. That's carried to Scott. Graham Smith goes, and it's that man, Anderson, again. He can't stop taking wickets. Well, this one just going up the slope fractionally. You can see the bat coming across and land the ball. It just carried. That's up and over. It's uh, bounced just once before crossing the rope at uh, third man. Anderson just losing his line. That'll make Gibbs feel a lot better. Gone. Gibbs has gone again. Call behind. Goff gets the trick there. Pitch the ball up. Just a little bit of movement. And Gibbs' footwork lets him down again. Quite full as well. Just holding its line up the slope there. And Herschel Gibbs gets the outside edge. It's in the air. Over the top of mid off ball. Powerful stroke. Plenty of bottom hand in that. Hammered away. Had a go this time, and that's four more. So the previous ball was a sighter for Van Vick. He got inside the line beautifully there. And plenty of time to pull it away for four. This is where certain inexperience comes in with Anderson, just uh, losing his patience. Bowled him now, nipped it back up the hill, may have conceded a couple of boundaries. But this boy, Anderson, has the knack of taking wickets, and he keeps on doing it. There you go, pitching it up. He's been very lethal when he's pitched the ball up. Edged, gone, what a catch, what a wicket. Goff has got Callis, that definitely is the big one for England. Callis has gone without scoring. Goff has just taken his second wicket, and what a good catch from Reid as well. Trouble now, big trouble for South Africa. It's a good shot from Rudolph. Through the gap and up the hill. It's going to go all the way for four. Two full from Anderson. Nicely balanced, gets well forward and punches that. Through the gap on the offside. Good punch through mid on. It's timed that well. And this outfield is pretty quick here at Lords. Quick enough to take the ball for four. The 50's up. Off stump has to be the line here. And just that little bit of room gives him all the space he needs. There's a conundrum because whether you go over the wicket or around the wicket, you still have to be precise. He's got it uh, over and just passed. Matthew Clark at uh, square leg. So first boundary for Mark Boucher. Oh, gone. Just a thin edge. Rudolph has gone. Extra bounce from Flintoff. South Africa five down now. In the slot from Andy Flintoff. Absolutely the right areas to a left-handed batsman around the wicket. Thin edge gone. Boucher has felt for that. It's a real wide ball from Johnson. Swung a bit. But uh, Boucher has gone now. And if South Africa were in trouble five minutes ago, they're in deep trouble here at 75 for six. Well got that away for four but not in the most convincing of fashion oh, that's a good shot that's going to be four it's just ease through mid wicket it's a shot of class from Pollock oh. hammered away for four picked up well by Van Jarsveld Good shot is this. That's the hundred up. Comes the hundred. Yep. Yeah. 
It's been a battle to get there. Got! Oh, he's got him. That'll do. That's all Ashley Giles wanted. A wicket in his first over. He's uh, also joined the party. The seamers have had it all their way so far. The spinner now proves that he can play a part. And it's Van Jarsveld who's on his way. It's going to be another one here. Michael Vaughan is underneath that. Simplest of chances. It's all one-way traffic this morning. And all that traffic has been uh, heading down what is a fast lane straight back to the pavilion. It's just time to perfection by Solanke. Pollock to Vaughan. Vaughan on the move, advancing down the pitch to uh, Pollock and smashing him away behind point. Sean Pollock's not used to that treatment. And that's gone as well. Vaughan predicted that perfectly. He knew the shorter delivery was coming, Pollock was angry after the previous delivery. Half oh, volley, that's uh, dispatched. That really was a classy shot. It's a lovely shot. That's very well played as well, that's uh, racing away down to the tavern stand. Four more, Callis has been expensive in this series. Solanke's got that one through as well. That's the 50 partnership. Solanke showing us his full array of strokes. Lovely straight drive this time from Solanke. We've seen pleasing shots from him all round the wicket. There's another four. That's uh, Rex Nell's figures. 59 for one after 12. Wide of second slip. And four more. That's wide of the mid. Oh, and that's beautifully timed as well. When he hits it, Solanke, it stays hit. Can't believe it. Jack Callis, a shake of the head. How's he hit that there? A little word as well. That's a way through uh, extra cover. Michael Vaughan getting in on the act now. That's his fourth four. That's imperious. We'll have time to play the game again. This race. Well, it's a dangerous game Jack Callis is playing. When you start giving the batsman some verbal, you've got to back it up. Well, there's not much you can say now. It's a classic shot. Picked up off his legs. Shot from Vikram Solanke. Takes him to 50. So a six and a four from successive deliveries. Solanke is through to 50 of 52 deliveries. And once again, 
thanks to the skies for his talents. Similar celebrations to the ones we saw at the Oval when he made us 100 years in flying fall. Straight down the ground. Well, he's got it uh, straight to mid on this time. It's a mistimed shot. It's the end of Michael Vaughan. So South Africa, I won't say fighting back because the game is all bar finished. But at least they have there's some consolation here. Michael Vaughan is gone. Oh, that's it. That's the end of uh, Vikram Solanke. He's dragged it back on. Andrew Hall has uh, found one there to come back down the hill. Solanke disappointed not to see it through as uh, well he might have done. That's away for Paul through uh, cover point. Maxine McGrath opens his uh, boundary account. England just need three. Just shows how good this pitch is. It'll be a mystery to South Africa how they were dismissed for 107. We've seen so many England batsmen play on the rise, on the up, have confidence to go for the shots. That'll be it. There's no third man. England are home. They've won this match by uh, seven wickets. What a thrilling victory for them in the final of the NatWest series in total command all day.